we host medical students um, for a three-week fellow educational fellowship. Uh, we host two sessions every summer. They have lectures and didactic sessions that build their knowledge base, and then they actually apply it. Their, uh, you know, touring methadone clinics. They're going to AA meetings. The emergency room at the local psychiatric hospital uh, or inpatient unit. Neurophysiology and, and the newer drugs of abuse. Uh, meeting with local treatment providers, getting to meet people in people, uh, clinicians in those treatment providers as well as current uh, patients in those areas. And I think that immersion that the students have when they're in the SCAFE program is really is really a critical factor. You know, they're here, it's like summer camp, they're here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you can really have a significant impact on motivation or on that, that commitment level um, in just like a day long training. Like I, I, it's, it's really a whole set of attitude shifts and even value shifts that needs to occur. I am Elsia Yu and I go to Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. My name is Dan Warner. I'm a PhD level psychologist. Anthony Style and I go by Tony uh, and I'm a board certified psychiatrist. In my medical school we really don't touch on substance abuse. Do you use alcohol? Do you use tobacco? It's just the basic screening. That's, that's it. Medical training is very much about facts and this is a way to really delve into something incredibly complex that we as a society do not address well, do not look at well. And um, this is going to push you because uh, expertise in this is not going to look like it looks like when you're dealing with a broken bone. The memorable parts of this program I really think have been getting the one-on-one -on -one time with a lot of patients and clients at the sites that we've been allowed to visit. Um, it's really amazing because I'm finally in a role where I'm saying, I'm a medical student, I want to know about your life and how you got there and then just the floodgates open and just hearing about the entire history and not having to glean it from um, shorter conversations, just hearing it all in one piece is just, it's, it's inspiring, it's frightening, it's amazing. It's always interesting seeing them stretch themselves and uh, have to think in new ways. We take pre-post data about their opinions of working with people who have substance use issues and we always see an effect positive areas of their motivation, their competence, their willingness to work with people with substance use disorders. It goes, I think it just goes back to the do no harm. I think physicians would do a lot less harm if, if, if more of us were educated. No matter where you end up practicing medicine, you will be working with patients who have alcohol and drug issues. We showed them the interface between addiction and you know being able to know what to do with addiction and whatever it is, anesthesia, pediatrics, internal medicine, surgery, whatever, that they were thinking of going into. That's the multi-intercept approach, is that you have to have gynecologists who know about this, you've got to have endocrinologists who know about this, because um, it really comes in from everyone's going to be facing people who are dealing with addiction. You know, what, what the SCAFE program tries to give students is, is a set of tools that they can use to recognize these patients, to, um, you know, help them in, in the way that they best can in their setting.